Yeah, good morning again, everybody. It's DC here. Um, much better phone now. I've got a new phone, so uh, um, hopefully this will be a better video. Uh, just like to show you on the uh, the warp drive, the Gerard motor warp drive. Uh, I've now increased the the fluorescent tubes to four tubes, and uh, again I've just stretched out some uh, copper wire, a Neil's copper wire. So we've got high voltage here, which goes to uh, it goes to the transformer. Then we've got a capacitor in line, in line capacitor. We've also got a capacitor here, and we've got the Gerard motor there. So it's the same, exactly the same setup, but with four four tubes this time. Um, what I've done now is uh, just to show you that there is uh, a voltage. Um, we are getting a voltage uh, and uh, some sort of ampage off here. Is I've just connected a, a fluorescent tube. To, this is the earth, and this this yellow wire here just goes straight to this point here. So that's where I was measuring from last time. So um, right on with the show. We're we're set at uh, 38.5 volts, and we'll see how we go on. Okay. Just a minute, and we'll, we'll get the show on the road. It's the same sort of setup. There's four tubes, high voltage going through the tubes, 25,000 volts or thereabouts. Got the spark gap, yeah, and the DC supply at 38.5. Going to put the lights back on and look at the power consumption. Again, it's just round about 29, 30 watts. Uh, just put the light off again. But what is interesting is that the the fluorescent tube here is lit up going to earth. So it just shows you that there is considerable power going through the uh, annealed copper wire. Okay, so I think it's just time to have a look at the, the settings. Um, I'm going to have to just switch off a minute while um, I put my uh, multimeter on. <laughs> 